Hello. Um, today's a pretty exciting day. Uh, and that is because I have just got word of a version of Project 64 that has successful N64 DD emulation. Now, I didn't think it was going to happen until next year with Sen64, but apparently it's already happened, so I'm going to showcase a bit of that. This only works with, ah, uh, what's his name? Uh, hold on a sec. Who did that? I copied the, ah, uh, I don't remember. I'll put his name on the screen right now, but he did a special conversion. He converted the dot ndd files to n64 files which are readable with project 64 this is project 64 version 2.2 which is exciting so just open it up and we have the screen here it doesn't recognize the rom names as of yet but that could probably be fixed uh it only works it it works with certain plugins I've heard that glide 64 works with the bit of graphical hiccups here and there um, but what I haven't tried yet is uh, Jabo's direct 3d uh, 1.6 so I'm gonna try that and yeah all of the ROMs that you use you have to make sure that they're running on eight megabytes of emulated RAM instead of four um, so yeah I'm gonna launch up Dosha and the Giant this is gonna be exciting so just wait a second here it is here's the settings plugins it's running on eight megabytes I'm gonna change that to I guess I can't change that. At least not yet. I will later. All right, here we go. Have to hard reset it. That's odd. The visuals aren't coming up. Hold on a second. Um. I will get that fixed. Moment's notice. Let me just fix that. Change the plugin. I actually, I tried Glide64, that didn't work. I tried Jabo's Direct 3D version 5, that worked, but I haven't tried any of the other ones, so I'm gonna try this one now. Sixty-four DD emulation. I'm able to uh, switch stuff on the screen. Yeah. So let's just start it up. It loads. Here it is. Yeah, this is the crap so I was talking about. Ah, okay. Yeah, like his face is weird. But I don't know what to do. If I get to the end, I will be successful. I've tried it with one other one. I think I chose, I chose Mario Talent Studio or Mario Cake Studio. That seemed to work just fine, but I think we need the mouse for that because my controller wasn't working for it. Yeah, we, it, it's working. So I'm gonna let's see if I can lift up some land here. straight from their cartridge. Who knows? I can't read Japanese, so I don't know how to set the wrong uh, save file or anything. Because it's writing directly to the ROMs. I don't know if it's saving it directly to a file or straight to the ROM. But it's exciting. Okay. 
you can see you can see right here if I resize the screen a bit just gotta go like this yeah the Rather, whatever seen something like this happen that quickly i thought sense 64 was going to be the first one to have successful emulation i got word of it from uh luigi bloods here let me just resize this i got word of it from luigi bloods uh twitter feed it says project 64 2.2 with 64 dd cic support highly recommend or highly suggest that you read the read me first so to me I thought this was like not gonna work at all and at first it didn't like didn't work at all but after a while and uh, where's the yeah Zoin kitty Zoin kitty he's the guy who did all these dumps um, I will put uh, links in the description to both of the download pages for project 64 uh, 2.2 and uh, 64 DD dumps which you can download through here or through here I think these are the yeah these are the ones that work um, SimCity 64 and the F0X expansion kit are not out yet we are waiting for the Super Mario 64 disc version uh, conversion to be dumped we have the original dump we don't have the other dump. The RANnet obviously won't work because RANnet is incompatible. But yeah, it's exciting. So maybe when that Mario 64 conversion gets dumped, I will show you that. Till then, uh, I'll see you later.